Hello, this is Roy from Roy's Guide, and today we're going to unlock a forbidden door with the key of observation. We'll be entering what some would call another dimension. A dimension of bobs, a dimension of streamers, a dimension of just the absurd. You're leaning forward now and are adjusting them cheap. You are now in the privilege zone. What I... The whole Griefernet thing, I don't get it. In today's episode, we're going to talk about security. Security is one of many different approved activities that can be performed within Star Citizen. And for our organization, Griefernet, we enjoy participating in infiltration, which is also an approved activity. Having a security team within Star Citizen is important to both deter and defend against any hostile actors. One of the other more well-known aspects of Star Citizen is the prevalence of PMC organizations that operate in providing security services for a price. But what happens when the security fails? From our experience, this fundamental aspect of playing the game seems to be thrown out the window. Last episode, we covered our exploits in attacking the experience, a roleplay cruise liner with a goal of visiting multiple locations within the verse. This group charges 400,000 Alpha UEC per ticket. They aim to sell 40 tickets per cruise and has a security force of LARPers in fancy uniforms. In this video, we destroyed the experience. You could say it was an experience to die for. But for what happened next, the experience team went above and beyond to prove that they are not interested in playing the game. Translated from Danish, they said, Hello everyone. After our experiences this weekend, we are being asked to individually submit an email to CIG as we have been cleansed and mobbed in the game. This can ultimately get these members permanently banned from the game. We have been asked to follow some common guidelines when we write the support email. Send an email to support at cloudimperiumgames.com. In the email, write harassment and bullying. Then describe the events with your own words. In English, use possibly Google Translate or ChatGPT. Below, you will find a list of buzzwords we are kindly asked to use. Harassment, bullying, targeting, tracking us on servers, specific targeting, toxicity. Remember to link to these videos in your email. This was posted within their Discord server to every member within the organization. They further go on to say, I have below added a zip file with some pictures from the in-game chat, etc., which you should attach, and I recommend that you attach your log file if you were part of the event. The point of this message is clear, to ensure that as many duplicate reports are submitted as possible to overwhelm CIG's ability to resolve in-game disruptions, even from people who were not at the event. Do you kill someone for, for to, to loot them and make some money? That is a pirate for us. If you kill him five times over and over and over and don't allow him to play the game, then that becomes griefy. Let's say you're a miner, there's not much to mine anymore because everyone kind of lives in that space and it's kind of depleted now. If you go into no man's land, now this is where all, the, where all the reaches are, but you might not make it out alive. Players will have to make a choice and as long as that choice is, is something they voluntarily make and they go like, I want to go there, I know the risks, I can read the risks, there's a readability going like, okay, ah, that, I like that, I like that, I don't like that, I'm not going in there, I'm going here. And as long as they can make that choice, it's very hard for them to then go like, well, I, I'm being grieved by people who are killing me. Mm -hmm. You know, you knew the consequences. You just went for the big box. Sorry, you lost. Try again. If you're doing an event and are preparing yourself by designating players to be a security team, you are assuming the responsibility of being involved in PvP. You should always hire competent security to minimize as much risk as possible. But simply because your security fails doesn't give you the right to flip the table, like a baby. But that didn't stop the experience. Here is what they told CIG in their support email. We've been working for eight months, and for all of us it came with not insignificant losses on the family and social fronts. That's interesting because later in the letter, you called us low-life individuals who chose to buy this game for the purpose of destroying the desire to play. People who probably have a really crappy life in the real world too. 
If you're playing the game for eight months to the detriment of your family, it kind of sounds like you are the ones with really crappy lives. And that's okay, you can touch grass at any time. We're not talking about PvP, piracy with ransom, or any other gameplay of that nature. Even though I'm the captain of the ship and would hate if it happened, I would also simultaneously respect it, as it is part of the gameplay and, in this case, also part of the experience. So because we didn't contact you about a ransom, that automatically delegitimizes our gameplay. What a load of shit. I died. Ouch. You died? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you inside the ship? Because then I can I can rescue. Yeah, they they are inside the ship. Yeah. It's N Moss. N Moss killed us. How the fuck did they board? What N Moss? That's he's a our, He's in our party. Wait, it's our teammate. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's a cunt. <laughs> Wait, they can do that? Yeah. Uh, he is. He is just one of the bad boys. N Moss. Be friendly, yeah. Ah, oh, there's nothing on the ship. It's just a little bit of fucking salvage. Oh, and Mars, you fucking cunt! Uh, he got me too. Uh, he, sh he should be one shot though. This is gonna get you banned from the Reddit. You know that, right? From the fucking. I think I have it all recorded. Do we need to summon something? Does it work? Yeah, yeah. There's um. So there's a CIG staff right there. That you you just send them a message. You get his gamer tag and everything. I already got his gamer tag. Got the recording. Yeah, there's there, there, there's a line. It, it, it's it's when you prevent them from being able to play the game. That's yes. griefing. Yes. When you make their lives difficult, that's not griefing. You know, it's 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 a, it's a thing. It's it's a thing that MMOs have struggled with for years across all genres from all developers. The actions of the experience were deplorable, but making a report about their actions is not your responsibility. Weaponizing support is not a unique problem in Star Citizen. It's a systemic one. For some players, the reporting system is seen as a way to solve all their problems. This is not conducive to a healthy game environment, especially for the developers who must read every single report. Piracy is uh, legit gameplay. And when they and when they clip this and highlight this and do all kinds of hate videos and God knows the other stuff they do outside of, outside of the game, because they do a lot of stuff outside of the game and that's the other issue, but when they, when they do all this stuff outside the game, um, They'll just they'll just clip the they'll clip the kill and they'll clip the complaint, but they, they they never clip the people that like say yeah piracy is good, piracy is fine. Uh, you know, kill anyone you want, anytime you want, it's fine. Um, it's all the it's all the other weird shit that goes on in the discords and the targeting and the and the server hopping and the uh, the malice and the and the weirdness. And the and the mental stuff it's it's all very strange and unfortunately that's that's the kind of stuff that they have to they have to clamp down on in star citizen because it's 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 going to get to the point where you just uh, it gets out of control and if, if you don't if, if you don't like if you don't uphold your terms of service then you know what else do you not uphold what may surprise you, Brat, is we agree with almost everything you've said, but we will not agree that it is a one-sided effort. I do not make videos for the purpose of spreading hate. This is an educational channel. Going back to even the first ever Roy's Guide, which was about the topic of brigading. So where in the terms of service did Griefernet break the rules? Because if you want to call it harassment, coordinating to submit reports seems to fit the bill. Spamming is also against the terms of service, so much so that the experience were caught using bot accounts to help promote their event. Nobody should agree to these double standards, nor the stance that PvP is permitted so long as everyone is not attacking you. You should be able to just kill any character you want to kill. That should be possible. That You should be able to kill any player you want to kill. If you want to murder Hobo, I think you should be able to murder her though. We agree with Kronzi on this point. You should be able to attack anyone, but we don't agree that killing someone once within a session is preventing you from playing the game, 
Organizations around the globe are already trying to stop us, not by submitting reports, but through alliances and security pacts in which we believe cooperation is a part of the game. We need to be able to report these kinds of players easily instead of through like a Spectrum back channel, which is just not, I, I don't think is a reasonable thing to expect players to do. To test these double standards, we attacked this year's Daymar rally. And while server performance was problematic, the kind folks at Atmo Esports went above and beyond to prove our point. Star Citizen as it is right now is completely open world. PVP is going to happen. You need to be aware that PVP is going to happen, which is why for like the Atmo events, we have security. In fact, Atmo Esports bragged about having 16 different organizations providing security. Yet this is the mentality of players within the organization. It's okay to have an antagonistic relationship. You know, we, yes. we, 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 yes. we want that in the world. We want all we want kinds hatred of hatred and love. And we want, I love these guys because they helped me fight this other guy. And I really hate, hate and, these ah, guys because these guys killed me last month and I need to do something against them. And I, we want that kind of interaction. Mm -hmm. We don't want a sterilized game that is like everyone is friendly and I can't interact with anyone. It, it's boring. Using reports to solve your problems will destroy this game. It doesn't matter if you like us or hate us, any organization or player can be brigaded. And for anyone who thinks we're just going to roll over, you will be sadly mistaken. The griefing will continue until morale improves. Bobsled624 in the chat asks, are there plans to update the lore and or history of a system based on the actions of the persistent universe's populace? The history or the, or the... Well, will they be able to create new history Correction. for the for the system? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it really, like, once it gets to the newsworthy mm -hmm. level of actions or something big enough happens, uh, hopefully we'll be watching that on a game level and being able to track it and incorporate that into the lore. Mm -hmm. but, the, but a player's ability to impact the way the, future, the history is written depends on the extent of, of the impact of what they're doing. Yeah. Right, it, right. We probably won't memorialize you're having a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, on the Galactopedia side, as as it updates, as the game unfolds, as the game is fully released, we would very much like to be able to record impactful player events, like taking down a well-known pirate, for example. That's what we really want to do. Yeah, it's just the the challenge yeah, of finding the right threshold mm -hmm. on, on which that you go from, like like John said, just being another person out there, like being a part of the solution or part of the problem, to actually kind of like mm -hmm. doing enough of something to to become well known for it. Mm -hmm. Sort of like life. Yes, yeah, sort of like life. <laughs> Hopefully. We've shown you things this episode that could have only come from being embedded within the hierarchy of the experience. We've shown you that infiltration is an approved organization activity. Doubling down, here's an excerpt from the developers confirming piracy and espionage are core accepted gameplay mechanics. So with that all in mind, here is what CIG told the experience. I want to assure you that following these reports, appropriate action has been taken against the involved parties. Moving forward, large-scale event disruptions will result in harsh penalties for those found to be involved in what we deem excessive griefing incidents. There's a lot to unpack with this statement, but let's just start with a reminder of what griefing is. It's when you prevent them from being able to play the game. That's yes. griefing. Yes. When you make their lives difficult, that's not Griefing. Did we prevent the experience from playing the game? To quote Zylo, the current director of community, for a majority of these matters, a PvP solution is preferable. Frequently, when these scenarios are reported to us, we encourage those who feel they are being targeted to rally with their friends and orgs in an attempt to fight back. We're not here to protect players from aggressors, pirates, and PvPers. A big part of Star Citizen is about that dichotomy, that epic clash that occurs when opposing forces meet and rally others to their cause. Yet CIG have intervened to protect this special group of players that seek to benefit. This is not pepperoni. So much that 18 different organizations who are not Griefernet put aside their differences to ask for more clarification to the rules. And for their effort, CIG chose to respond with a non-answer, neglecting to address even one of the questions raised. 
This will embolden these players to report anyone they want with impunity, simply because they are sore losers. To prove they are sore losers, we attack the experience a second time. This time, they spent 135 million UEC hiring two experienced PvP organizations. Even when they had security that was willfully ignorant of protecting its objective, they had no shame to say, Good thing I was recording, so that's going to be reported. CIG banned 13 players for seven days, yet only one fired the missiles. And for the ones who didn't fire a single shot, their crime was saying Griefernet victory, some of which joined after the experience had been destroyed. This was sloppy work and shows how ineffective they will be to enforce this new policy. It does not bode confidence that CIG want to run their game no better than a poorly run Minecraft server. It's not too late to admit this was a mistake, CIG, but if you still don't think it was, we'll gladly lead the way for everyone to reap what you sow. Are you organizing a community event? Concerned Griefernet might attack it? From the minds at CIG Customer Support, we bring you No Security. With No Security, running events is now made easy. Simply hire No Security, then report anyone who attacks directly to CIG. Fuck you, I'm a med runner. We used to do medical rescues to save the day. But when Griefernet showed up, they ruined our lives. But thanks to no security, they are bound to get fucked with endless reports. More time to DMCA. Thanks, no security. We used to tell our boys to quit the menus to avoid Griefernet, even when we're not streaming. But thanks to no security, we can just report them 30 or so times and make them go away. I've turned them in, God good 30 or so times. Here at Atmo Esports, we operate a little differently. When Griefernet infiltrated our event, we delayed it for six hours trying to find the spy. We don't have to hire 16 different organizations. We can just complain to CIG. It's so easy. Uh, ich habe in meiner Community von 1500 Leuten gesagt, dass sie Griefernet reporten sollen. Aber dies hat leider nicht funktioniert. Dank No Security sind wir nun in der Lage, jegliche gegen uns gerichtete Angriffe direkt zu melden und sicherzustellen, dass diese Griefe bis zum Erscheinen der Beta gebannt werden. Du hast gleich schon gebannt? Äh, nee, angeblich nicht. Der ist wohl komplett gebannt. Das ist 231. Ein bisschen statt der Beta. <lacht> someday, someday that person will be banned permanently. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe never, but someday. Do it, dumb fuckers. Kill me. I, I guarantee I'm going to report you now. All right. That's that's a report to CIG. Thanks to no security, we can brigade anyone who disrupts our events. No longer do we need to worry about emergent gameplay or PvP. We just send an email and CIG tells us directly what happens to the people we've reported. Now our 890 jump tours can go off without a hitch. Thanks again, no security. No security. Why play the game when you can just weaponize support? Isn't there any security or...? Loads. According to Dad. That's what worried them so much. It happened right under their noses. We talk about Griefernet, like, in meetings and shit. 